This question really shows the power of dumb summaries. So first things first, though, be careful. Which choice best describes the data from the graph that weaken the team's hypothesis? That's weird. That's very unusual, just overall for questions, but especially for graph questions. But it's okay. Dumb summaries are going to help us. So let's get their hypothesis, and then we'll flip it around. Uh, in the United States, firms often seek incentives from municipal governments to expand to those municipalities. A team of political scientists hypothesized that municipalities are much more likely to respond to firms and offer incentives if expansions can be announced in time to benefit local elected officials than if they can't. So, dumb summary. What is that saying? That's saying elections, uh, election timing matters, right? Let's, let's just read that again. Let's make sure. A team of science hypothesized that municipalities are much more likely to respond to firms and offer incentives uh, if expansions can be announced in time to benefit local elected officials than if they can't. Meaning, you get closer to the election or something like that, you're going to have, uh, what does it say, more likely to respond. So the likeliness of response is dependent on the, the timing of the election. That is what that sentence is saying. I don't care so much about the direction because I'm about to direct, dumb summary this thing away. So let me show you. The team contacted officials in thousands of municipalities inquiring about incentives for a firm looking to expand and indicating that the firm would announce its expansion on a date either just before or just after the election. Right. So if we are saying that their hypothesis is that the timing matters, then our weakening of that would be, well, the timing doesn't matter. Timing doesn't matter. Right. OK. And look at this. Look, look at the chart. Does timing matter right before and after? Look, same, same, same. Seems obvious timing doesn't matter. So let's take a look. Does a choice basically say that? A, a large majority of the municipalities that received an inquiry mentioning plans for an announcement before the election didn't respond to the inquiry. Well, you might think that the fact that they didn't respond has something to do with it. But remember, if the timing doesn't matter, what we kind of would want here is to compare the two colors, right? Like I just did with drawing those lines, right? We want to say that before and after for one of these things didn't make a difference in the numbers, right? So just by looking at the no response and, and not, uh, does it give us one? Um, yeah, it focuses on just before the election. We would really want to say like before and after in this in the choice. So let's look at, let's look at B. I don't think this is right. Uh, the proportion of municipalities that responded to the inquiry or offered its incentives didn't substantially differ across the announcement timing conditions. Didn't differ across the timing, right? So that's basically what I just said in fancier language, right? That the timing didn't matter. There's no difference based on the timing. So it doesn't mention before and after, right? It didn't use those exact words, but the timing conditions are before and after. So that looks really good. Let's look at C though. Only around half the municipalities that responded to inquiries mentioning plans for an announcement before the election offered incentives. Again, not comparing both, just comparing the before. D, of the municipalities that received an inquiry mentioning plans for an announcement date after the election, more than 1,200 didn't respond and only around 100 offered incentives. Again, only about one. So the only one that's really about the, the timing conditions comparatively is B. And uh, that is why I didn't really bother to understand this on a deeper level, right? The whole point is if we weaken it, we're saying it doesn't matter. So I don't care if something's supposed to go up or down, if the before election is good or bad. Once I've weakened the hypothesis, the whole point is it doesn't matter. It is the same. And sure enough, the, the chart reflects that. Um, so that's why I said dumb summaries really helped. By getting a very dumb summary from the start and not wasting a lot of time and brain power trying to understand the nuances of this experiment, I was able to just get some very quick thing. And then because they asked me to weaken it, just flip it, right? Just reverse what they're saying and usually that's going to be enough to just have a clear idea of what you're looking for in the choices. And then sure enough, you know, simple idea of a comparison was all I needed to get the right answer.